In this problem, we have a body of mass 12 kilos is sliding along a smooth horizontal surface at a constant speed of 5 meters per second when it encounters a rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction 0.4. Find the distance that the body will move across the rough surface before it comes to rest. OK, let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. OK, so we have our block or body of mass 12 kilos and it's sliding along a smooth horizontal surface at a constant speed of 5 meters per second. Okay, and it encounters a rough horizontal surface. So now the surface is rough, it's got a uh, coefficient of friction 0.4, we'll deal with that in a moment. Find the distance that the body will move across the rough surface before it comes to rest. So it'll come to rest at some point Right, so this is the same block, and this distance, let's call it D. Okay, so now that we know what's going on there, we need to think about how we're going to include the coefficient of friction of 0 0.4. Okay, so we have the weight of the object as 12G working vertically downwards. We then have the normal reaction force, R, which is going to work vertically upwards. Okay, um, So, in order to work out R, we need to resolve vertically. So, I'm going to resolve vertically, taking upwards as positive. R take away 12G will be equal to 0, because we're not going to be accelerating vertically. So R is 12G. Okay, so we know that R is 12G. So we can pop that in. Now, because the surface is rough, we will have a frictional force. Because we know that the object is moving, we know that the friction is going to be equal to mu times R. So we learn that as part of A-level maths. Okay. So, that means that the friction is going to be equal to 0 0.4 times by R, which is 12G. So that will give us 4.8G. So that is our frictional force. Okay. So, now we can go into the work energy principle. We have the initial GPE plus the initial kinetic energy, plus and minus work done, is going to be equal to the final GPE, plus the final KE. OK. Now, because the block uh, is on the ground, is on the horizontal surface, uh, the initial GPE will be 0. We'll take H to be 0, plus the initial kinetic energy, well, it's travelling at 5 metres per second initially, so that will be 1 half times m times v squared. Then we've got to consider the work done by any forces that are acting horizontally. Now, the only force acting horizontally is the frictional force, and that's going to be taking energy out of the system. So we're going to be taking away... The work done by the frictional force, which will be 4.8g, times by the distance over which it travels, which we've called d. Now there are no other frictional force, sorry, no other horizontal forces acting, so that's the only one we need to consider. Then we've got the uh, final gravitational potential energy. Now, because the block hasn't moved anywhere up or down, it is exactly the same height. That will be zero. And the final kinetic energy will also be zero because we're at rest at that point. So one half times m times zero squared. OK. So we've got 1 half times 12, so 6 times 5 squared, so 6 lots of 25 is 150. That's going to be equal to 4.8G times D. So D will be 150 
over 4.8 g. So 150 over 4.8 times 9.8 is 625 over 196 meters, which is 3.19 meters to three significant figures. And so that is the distance uh, that the body will travel over the rough surface until it comes to rest.